What's going on guys, Inspired here with some news on the development of my Inspired patch for WWF Smackdown 2. I'm currently working on the version 1.2 of the patch and even though it's not out yet and I don't have a release date at this time, I thought it would be a good idea to give you a little preview of an exciting new feature that will be part of Inspired patch 1.2. The feature I'm talking about is the alternate finisher system, which basically means that in 1.2 Every wrestler in the game will have not one, but two finishers, and you will be able to choose which one you want to use. Before we dive into that though, a quick reminder that if you enjoy the work I'm doing and would like to support the project, you can take a pledge on Patreon. There are several different rewards for patrons, including early access to work in progress builds of the patch. The latest early access build includes the alternate finisher system that will be shown in this video. So if you want to try it out right now, go to patreon.com forward slash inspired wrestling and check out what I got there. Also remember that another way to support me is something as simple as just liking this video and sharing it with your friends. So don't forget to do that if you want to show your support. I'll appreciate it very much. So the alternate finisher system, how exactly will it work in inspired patch 1.2? Uh, well, it's pretty much the same as in SmackDown Just Print It and other later games in the series. If your wrestler's finishers are performed from different positions, then both of them are performed by pressing L1, just obviously from different positions. For example, The Rock has the People's Elbow and The Rock Bottom as his finishers. Both of them are performed by pressing L1, but for The People's Elbow it's from the ground position and for The Rock Bottom it's from the standing groggy position. On the other hand, there are also wrestlers who have two finishers that are performed from the same position. In such case, the main finisher or finisher 1 is performed by pressing L1 and the alternate finisher or finisher 2 is performed by pressing L1 and either of the direction pad buttons. So it's L1 up, L1 right, uh, L1 left uh, or L1 down. It's pretty much exactly the same as how taunts work in SmackDown 2. For example, The Undertaker has Tombstone Pile Driver and Choke Slam as finishers. Both are performed from the standing groggy position, but Tombstone is performed by pressing L1 and Choke Slam is performed by pressing L1 and either of the direction pad buttons. Of course, I went through the whole roster and gave everybody a fitting second finisher. I also adjusted everyone's movesets so that the new alternate finishers couldn't be performed as regular grapples. For example, The Rock now cannot perform the rock bottom as a regular grapple, because it's now one of his finishers, and so he has a different regular move instead. You can see all the alternate finishers that I've assigned so far in my Inspired Patch 1.2 Work in Progress spreadsheet. The link is in the description. You may notice that the only wrestler that hasn't got an alternate finisher yet is Triple H. I just haven't been able to come up with anything fitting for him but if you have any suggestions based on his moveset from 98 to 2000, feel free to let me know in the comments. I'm open to suggestions on this one. In 1.2 you will also be able to set running and turnbuckle grapples as finishers, which of course hasn't been possible in SmackDown 2 up until now. Turnbuckle finishers work exactly as you would imagine. Just get your opponent to the turnbuckle position and press L1 to perform a finisher. Running finishers, however, are not performed like running grapples. They are instead performed like standing finishers. So you do not actually need to run to do them. Just get your opponent to the groggy position and press L1 as you would if you had a normal standing finisher like choke slam, pile driver, or whatever. So at this point you might be asking, what about my created wrestlers? Can they use alternate finishers? The answer is yes, they can. The alternate finisher system is fully integrated into the create a superstar mode. In 1.2, if you go to edit your created wrestler's moveset and navigate to the special section, you'll see two finisher options instead of one. And of course, I also added running and turnbuckle finishers to the finisher selection, since you can now use them as finishers. The best part about this system is that it's very flexible and supports pretty much any finisher combination that you can set. Do you want to have two ground finishers? Or maybe one running and one aerial finisher? Uh, what about two turnbuckle finishers? Sure, all of that is possible. Pretty much whatever you want, you can do it. So that's it for the alternate finisher system. This is something that I'm personally really excited about. 
I've been having a lot of fun testing this feature so far and uh, I personally think this might be one of the coolest features that I've ever added in uh, Inspired Patch but I'm also curious to know what you think about it so let me know in the comments. This feature should be available to everyone when Inspired Patch 1.2 comes out and it's also currently available as an early access on Patreon so check it out if you're interested. The link is in the description. Thanks for watching everyone, stay tuned for more news on Inspired Patch 1.2 and I'll see you around.